Hello everyone and welcome to my PSF1 Classic Cars League Race. Yes, I'm in Classic Cars and yes, this is PSF1. Uh, I've recently joined this aspect of the league. Um, having not been in many leagues, I just thought I'd join it just for just for the fun of it. Um, but qualifying 14th was no joke. Um, I had literally done zero practice, I'm going to be honest. I forgot about the race until... Uh, I do believe it was mid-afternoon today, so I just didn't have time to practice, so I'm going to be starting 14th, I did do a lap in qualifying, but I did get it invalid, um, at some point you are going to hear me talking or sighing, uh, so I do apologise for that, but um, one other thing before we go lights out, uh, I've recently joined another league, uh, I've joined back to F1 Tears Hub, uh, there's a lot of, uh, uh, how can I say, not hints but just hints I was going to join back and I, I have now so I'm going to be starting to upload videos from there again which I can't wait but moving on it's five red lights and away we go as I said this is the, it, this is in PSF1 so some names you are going to recognize some names you're not um those guys are in lower divisions to me so I mean they're no slouches so I'm, just not, I'm not going to take anyone for, for granted here but coming for line, P12 ready, we've got Hot Zonda around our outside as we've got D uh, Dylan and Mertens battling and Hot Zonda's actually going to go for a dive form and actually get well, a couple places so fair play to him, we've actually dropped back to 13th but we're going to go around the outside of Mertens hopefully get a better run, just like we have but just like we're kind of tired on the exit so uh, this is Obviously, obviously my first race here, uh, this is the first video I'm going to be doing of this. Um, very enjoyable race. I hope that everyone here will enjoy it, that, that, are, that is watching it. But I see that's what Sonda going for a dive on one Dylan. Dylan is going to rejoin and I do believe cut slot back behind Hot Sonda. We're going to take advantage of this because we've just got better straight line speed. I don't know why or how but we're going to have a really good run on. Hot Zonda and I knew Hot Zonda was going to go in too deep so we sort of let him have it but it's still there but he just doesn't give us the space we touch and we do get the move done a bit I'm not, I'm not going to say dirty but you know more space could have been given on Hot Zonda's side but we managed to get through and I do believe Mertens did as well so that's unfortunate for Hot Zonda and at the end of lap one we've made up four positions or three positions sorry so that's not too bad and next on our list is Dylan um, with Dylan and Wardy as Wardy is pitting so he's had a bit of damage on lap one it's unfortunate for him so we're actually going to uh, rack up four positions yeah. on lap one and that is me in the background I do apologize for that so we're going to stand board with this lap as well because I do get the move done on Dylan so we're already in the points here and as you, but as you can see on the map the top top seven are really getting away here so I wanted to get past Dylan ASAP, but as you can see, he's, he's not really enjoying the car too much in the first couple of laps. Yeah, I don't know whether he, he actually got damaged from uh, when Hot Zonda uh, hit his side pod. I don't know, but it seems to be going wide, and we're going to take full advantage of this. We get a much better run out of the hairpin, coming down the long straight, um, just having a much better run again. So, I don't know what's going on my straight line speed, but I'm not going to might not grow too much as under braking Dylan is still on our outside so we have to give him space he's still there on our inside we have to give him space again but I do believe we've got on the curb on exit uh, the curb on the inside of the apex and just lost all the momentum and we managed to well get past Dylan that in to eighth place but next is Samurai who is in that top seven so if I catch him then I'll manage to uh, maybe even sneak a podium this race who knows but as I said, next up is Samurai. I do believe he's at three, four seconds up the road, so it's going to be very tough to catch him. But let's see uh, how long it takes if I do catch him. And yeah, lap eight, so six laps to catch Samurai. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I thought it'd take a lot longer than this, but anyway, we're going to move on. But I do believe Samurai pits. Yeah, Samurai pits, so my initial thing at this point was maybe just try to go for an overcut because I've done no practice so I wasn't really losing too much in terms of uh, 
position or points or whatever because I'm not in, I'm not really in the championship as I am with other leagues or F1 and PSF1 so I knew that if I just tried to overcut everyone and maybe set good laps it might pay off and we're actually going to come in to lap 10 this is well at this point this was the fastest lap of the race so as you can see only two cents down on our time so we're not losing time uh, to our best time set I do believe that was on lap three or four I do believe so I mean at this point I really start to get in the groove of how the car felt um, what corners to push on what corners I sort of had to be hesitant on the throttle but yeah I mean if I did a little bit of practice I maybe could have qualified a lot higher than what I did um, it's just unfortunate but first race here I'm not going to complain too much but yeah this is the fastest lap of the race so far um, looking back on it now it was a very good lap but you're going to see at I think parts of this race that uh, the fast lap just gets absolutely wrecked but yeah I mean at, at this point in the race I, I felt nice I felt like I knew uh, I knew the car well I knew obviously the setup I was I, I didn't really change my setup to what I would usually use on the 2017 cars but um, I do believe I changed uh, downforce to a little bit higher because also I didn't want to take the risk of my lower downforce so of being absolute bust in the corners but for the most part the car felt really nice mostly in the third sector so I think I actually started running um, higher wings than what I should have but I'm not, I'm not going to complain because this was my first official race I didn't really want to uh, mess up as long as I scored points I would have been happy so I mean to be in second place and potentially be in I do believe it's seventh or sixth so I'm starting last I'm going to take but this is going to be fastest lap of the race um, as you can see a purple lap now so yeah it's purple lap by not even tenth but it's still a purple lap I'm still going to put it in the video and yeah I do believe now it is time for I do believe I'll pit at the end of this lap so I'll see you then for my pit stop so I'm not doing too bad at the minute but we do just have to come into the pits at the end of this lap. Tires were 40, 41 percent. I knew I was down to lose a little bit of time at two of the leaders, but starting last, uh, I can't really focus on the leaders too, too much. Uh, my main aim was to maybe even sneak a top five finish, but um, we're going to come out of our pit box. Still in, well, still leading, but as you see, their Lego and one going past. You'll recognise them too from uh, F1 and Sophie from F2 and Tezza is in F1 as well and Trizzy I mean is fine for the title in F2 so I mean a very mixed up field but you know it's my chance to race with guys who I would normally race with and there's Carton who I do believe is the championship leader so he's uh, proved himself in this league let's just hope he can do it in the F1 league because at the moment he's actually fighting for relegation so that's uh, going to be a bit unfortunate for him but as you can see I sort of tapped his Carton's rear and that's actually made him have a bad run we're going to take advantage of that, so we're going to obviously have a better run than him on fresher tyres as well. So we're going to get the move done before the tight uh, is it chicane. I'm going to say chicane or tight left right. I, I don't really know what to call them, call them, call that section of corners, but we're going to get the move done on Carton. But we're going to stay defensive because I thought he was actually going to go for a move here, but he didn't. So that is us up into 6th place and I did say I wanted to sneak up top 5 and Trizzy is just up the road from us so we can the gold is there but yeah I mean lap 15 now so not really took too long to, to uh, catch Trizzy as you can see we go for a little bit of a move down Trizzy or around Trizzy outside but we just get just a bad run off the curve and he manages to keep P5 we're going to stay on board because I do eventually make the move on Trizzy in a place where you wouldn't normally expect uh, expect to make a move um, I just wanted to get past Trizzy because I knew I had the pace to catch the top I'm going to say top fourth and third I, mean, I, could, I could maybe snap a podium this race so I knew if I got past Trizzy now and as you can see down is inside through the fast right handers I'm mean, actually making the move I did go in a bit too hot into the main braking zone and that did uh, force, well, force Trizzy off so I do apologise for that but we do make the move up into 5th and I see that 21 where everyone else is pitted so um, 
I was obviously going for that, for the overcut last last stint, right? So I thought, why not do it again? You know, if it worked, then why not? And you'll see how much it benefited me doing this as Lego sets the fastest lap. And one at this point, we're actually falling back to Lego. So I don't know what happened, whether they had a bit of contact or whatever. But Lego proving his worth in this league and in F1 league. So Lego being very dominant here tonight. But one is no slouch, so I expect him to. Uh, close the gap up again as we come out the pits and that is actually Sophie behind us so Sophie was actually battling with Tezza before we pit and they were only about one or two seconds up the road so to <laughs> to overcut her um, I was very surprised at this and obviously Tezza there so they must have had obviously battle when Tezza pit but we're not going to moan too too much and uh, it's actually taken us the last lap to uh, catch up to Tezza now Sophie was still there and also, big cut to run Abu Dhabi's time penalties. I do believe I had six or nine seconds worth of penalties, so I wasn't too confident of getting third. But I mean, the fact that I started last and I'm now fighting for a podium, it's, it was insane. But uh, Lego is going to cross the line in first, and Juan's actually going to set the last fast lap on the last lap. So fair play to him. And we're going to come across the line right behind, almost losing out of out the last corner, but we're going to come home in third. So Tezza having a nightmare in penalties, but she's actually going to drop to fifth as Sophie takes fourth. And yeah, you can see there, Tezza having 15 seconds worth of penalties and Juan as well. But yeah, that's been PSF1 Classic Cars League. This will I'm going to try and upload this every Wednesday. But uh, yeah, guys, that's been the PSF1 Classic League. The next upload I'm going to do is PSGL. So I'll see you then. Uh, thank.